watching. Tell me who's watching. Who's watching me? What they were doing right now in this phase is they're going to extend the time line. No additional steps there for now. What they want to do is they showed us two different drawings after that. Uh, one was they could do right away was to take out half of the asphalt box that's up there, and put swings in there. And I know it had been a desire of Garrison Beach Pairs to keep that asphalt asphalt piece in place for kids to do pick up uh, hockey games and whatever. Uh, so they had this uh, other designer who came up with a new plan uh, that George and I felt would be the best. It would take them a little bit longer to complete the plan. Uh, but what they will do is they'll move that asphalt to another spot in that in the Seba Park. And what they will do on that asphalt is they will add more swings. So I believe if I'm not mistaken, George, they say a total of 17, 17 swings. And I think eight will be additional bucket swings, and right. the others will be for uh, all the children. All the children. And but the back to them, uh, before you go, I, I can see from Bob's expression. We understand about the asphalt. The, um, and so looking at the plans, we both called attention to it, as did the Vibber. Uh, that it was kind of a given when it was first done that uh, GB Cares and the community just uh, redid an area that had become a dump. And so what they've done is they let us say this is the this is about the, the design of the asphalt. You flatten it, lay it down, and so it is here, but it's next to the pot park. And then you have a skateboard park. And what they uh, plan on doing, if it goes through, if everybody's agreed, the, it would just remove this from there and put it here, just the other side of the uh, skateboard park. And it would give it better access through that road that also goes out to the uh, radio operated uh, planes. And what it would do is keep the skaters on the far right side of the park. So you concentrate it in that whole area that they do the stunts and then give them the option of doing roller hockey on the asphalt, which will be in the same general location. And nets. And, and they talk now about good, professional, portable, nets. solid, portable nets for the roller hockey. So what it looked like to us, so, you know, and the plans, they, they're not going to be here tonight, but what it looked like, and it was pretty obvious though, is that you were, you now had the younger children and parents over here. Right? Well, if you're looking at it, they would be here, if I remember correctly. And there are parents who tell us every day, and believe me, I get telephone calls about this, I'm sure others do, that they hear terrible profanity. I mean, we're all used to it, but we don't like to be used to it. But when you take three, two, three, four, five-year-old children over to the pot park, and you got F this and F that from 12 and 13-year-old kids adjacent to the pot park, better there becomes this buffer zone. And the buffer zone, nothing has changed except the location. So it goes here instead of where it is, and then that makes room for swings where they start to grade up from hot swings to that middle uh, age or what have you. Right. And in addition to having the swings, they're going to put in additional play equipment in that area because the Parks Department felt, well, what good is it to have swings for kids that are five, six, seven, eight, nine years old when there's nothing else? Well, what else do they do? So along with that plan, they're going to add some additional play equipment for that age appropriate for that group of children will also be next to swings on that asphalt piece. Of course, that asphalt will be done away with, and there's a whole landscaping thing that will go on with that, and it will really look like a real park that was planned out to be a park, not something that was just thrown on top of asphalt. So it's going to be a whole change here. Uh, I think it's going to be really nice, and what's going to happen next is, right now you can see they're working on the comfort station. When the comfort station is completed, they're going to extend the top lot. They're going to have um, sprinklers 
and some additional play equipment for the younger children. We asked uh, about the right. swings. We asked about the swings and th this was the best solution. Why do you have a certain number of feet per swing? 6,000 feet for swings. Per set of swings. Wow. So there's just not room. I appreciate George and John going, but you remember, we had the architect who planned everything. Yes, these were the it was being paid by, by our taxes. And you two gentlemen told me a better idea than nothing. <laughs> this is ridiculous. No, no, no. They just well, This is totally ridiculous. Oh, this is going on and on and on. I'm going to be dead and buried when that coffee station is finished. Now, they, now, they, now, they, now they take the coffee station <laughs> is what's well, taken forever. It is on schedule. However, the, the this change of the asphalt is on. Yeah, that's what I want I, 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 look, I put my hands up. We talk right. about well, the honestly, end of 2012. But, right. but in order to have more swings, it's not what I wanted. I appreciate it. Yeah. Well, we had the meeting here with yeah. the with the architect who said he could give you more swings, well, and obviously he don't know what he's doing yes. because now you have triple the amount. Well, you know what? You know what would happen? He said we could do it immediately, but it would not give us the amount of swings we want to have. Boy, it was so much nicer down here when everybody did what they wanted to do. <laughs> <laughs> I agree, but this was this was the next best thing that we could come up with. And I think it'll be really nice for this commission. What are they going to do? Exactly. Is it going to be an open thing that anybody can just... So far, that's... Yeah. I don't think they're going to have a pencil. That's across the board bridge. Yeah, I, the only thing I know is they said they would have to be a car dependent when the comfort station is open. But other than that, yeah. All right. Let me tell you that while we sat there, and I'm just telling you that just a layman like yourself, where all of a sudden Lou said, well, how much is that going to cost? And then Marty, the uh, mayor, says, uh, oh, this would be about uh, maybe $425,000. So Lou said, well, I can come up with 350000 and Marty Markowitz would come up with another 100000 and so, it's back and forth like so. Here's the money we'll go. And yeah, frankly, frankly, these plans were up there. And all I could think of was Diane Sullivan and Jennifer Avina. And I didn't ask this guy, is this phase three include swings? They would have scalped us. <laughs> and, and, and I have to. It looked so great, we were talking swings, and all of a sudden I said, well, does that have the swings you told us about? Oh, no. no. They have a sprinkler system. Oh, so, okay. that's where we're at. They, these guys juggle money and funds. We know it, earmarks, we read it, we hear it. Uh, right now, the comfort station, look, walking along Garrison Avenue, we're stopping at the post, at least four union guys have grabbed me and said, they're non-union workers over there at the conference station. So far, made an inquiry of them. And they said, yes, it's true. However, we work out with the union that we need the prevailing scale, wage scale. Now, that for me is I know nothing from that. I know uh, Theresa Samuels in which she's negotiated with the best of them one of my old bosses who murder. <laughs> she, she gave him a hard time for about unions and monies. But this is where it's at. We, uh, it's almost mm -hmm. beyond our control. I mean, we're there representing you saying, look, we came here to hear you put in swings. If the swings they will put in, what I can tell you right now is I, that public station as far as I'm concerned, the guy, they build houses down here faster than that. Mm -hmm. and, then, and these are just guys from the neighborhood who put a house up faster than that. But that's going that's on, on, on and on and on. And and on. And and so the is not for us anyway. That's going to go on and on. But all we can do is we will Most follow up. All right, John will. And I don't will want it, Dad. I don't want it. And also, it doesn't hurt for I'm just an average man. Never
Life, life.